Well, I'm a computational materials physicist. That means that I'm a physicist that studies materials using computational tools. Uh, uh, that implies uh, uh, work on the theoretical background, uh, the theories that we can use to describe materials property using physics laws, uh, and, uh, um, and then apply this uh, to the description of these material properties. There are some things that we cannot get just by the theory. We have to do simulations. Uh, because the equations that we have to solve are very complicated, the problems are very complicated, and so we solve this very complicated uh, equations on very large supercomputers, uh, and we get this data that are materials property data. Now, I've been a musician and a composer well before I became a physicist, so music has always been part of my uh, life at some level. Sometimes, I mean, depending on, on the time periods, I've been more into music or less into music, but it's always been there. And, uh, um, and so it was very natural for me at a certain point to start thinking about how could I merge these two aspects of my life uh, and make something new. And so this is the idea of this project, Material Sound Music, uh, where I use the results uh, of my physics and, 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 and materials work into sound and into music. Sonification, it's anything that, that, that any process that transforms into sound, uh, some other process. But uh, um, there are different levels, I think, uh, of sophistication in sonification, of usefulness. Uh, and uh, uh, what really interests me most uh, is uh, the artistic use of sonification for making something beyond uh, what sonification is actually. You know, the, the, your phone that rings when somebody is calling you is sonification, it's a sonification because it's a translation in sound of a message that somebody wants to talk to you. No? Yeah. As trivial as this. Huh? Then there are more complicated in instances of sonification where you want to transform into sound more complicated data. And that's where my interest lies, uh, at least uh, on the most scientific part. But then, uh, I, what I, I mean, I really want to do is go beyond what the sonification, pure sonification process is, uh, and, uh, and, and go to what I call post sonification, that is, uh, take whatever sound you have created, uh, or whatever data you have uh, that you have sonified, uh, and make art out of it. And so it's kind of a bridge between a snapshot. Uh, of some data that can be scientific or can be social or can be whatever into a work of art that is a piece of music. There are two aspects. Uh, uh, one that is very general in terms of uh, representation of data. And there is a problem, the representation of data that is typically addressed with visualization of those data. But visualization itself uh, is not enough uh, to get the, 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 the picture of all this data that are very complex, multidimensional. And, and so uh, adding sound to the data, I think, has a scientific value in that 
sense that it helps us discriminate uh, better be between data sets that might be very similar from a visual point of view, but they're very different from the, the aural point of view. And so I've developed uh, a whole set of tools uh, to um, build uh, what I call the data sound identifiers, so that, that, that are basically sound sounds, sound files, uh, based on a specific data set uh, that are kind of the image or one of the possible aural images of that set. And uh, um, one of my projects uh, is uh, to add the, this capability to the whole database uh, that we develop as scientists um, of uh, the, 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 the repository of all these materials properties in order to add this dimension to the data mining and data analysis techniques that we can use uh, to explore this, this, this data. So there is that part. And, uh, um, and then there is the other part that I was talking about that uh, based on this sonification process, then I can take this and make something else and the, 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 that is artistic and is musical. And, and the reason why I, I want to do this is, well, first of all, because I'm a composer, so I like to write music, but also um, because while the, the pure sonification is something that scientists would, would use or appreciate, uh, uh, I want to broaden the, the, the participation uh, to you know, the general public, people that are not scientists and that don't necessarily want to listen to sound identifiers uh, per se. And so it becomes for me a way to expand uh, and, and, and give a different perspective to the public uh, of what uh, materials physics and material science is. Uh, and is it something that is not being done? I mean, we have this uh, fascination for you know the stars, the universe, uh, or, or medical thing processes, you know biological processes, and, and there is a lot of art that is based on these things uh, or climate, or but we don't have anything like this for materials. So nobody knows actually what a material is, and and the use of musification in a way of this data, it's one of the tools that one can use to build. Uh, interactive displays or installations or, or you know, things that, that, that people can enjoy as art and at the same time learn about the science. <laughs>